Good morning, Soul Tribe. I spiritual warriors, um, little earth angels. It's it's early, it's seven ten in the morning. So get up out of bed, get you a cup of coffee. Coffee with Captain Reed. Um, welcome to our channel. Um, spiritual guidance eleven eleven. Um, and uh, please read my description, disclaimers, all of them. I'm gonna, I did update the links that I had missing, uh, and uh, and I'm gonna do the same on on this video video also. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I need to make a list of bullet points or what I need to think, uh, talk about. I just want to give you a little update on on. Um, the charitable donations. I did receive a deposit, and the deposit was seventeen hundred and thirty-nine dollars, I think, and uh, thirty-five cents, something like that, close to it. Um, and what I did was I, I sent Wesley twelve hundred dollars. I kept the rest. I put it in the savings. I put it all on YouTube on. My, on my community board, uh, TikTok, and Facebook. So, because I I am very serious about being transparent with this, I do not want you to think otherwise that uh, I. And uh, when it comes to money and charity, you trust no one because I hate to say that, but when it comes to money. <clears throat> Honesty only goes as far as you can see. After that, it's on, you know, the devil will use the greed within a person. That demon is going to take over, and it's just one of those things. And I want you to rest assured that anything that you do and help with when it comes to this channel as far as watching because it's all you have to do is watch or listen you don't even have to watch just put it on and the advertisements is going to take care of the rest I just want you to be sure that I am straightforward with you and I am an honest person very kind person I love people and I love to help people I could keep the money there's no there's no rule that says I have to do what I do but I want to, and I want you to know that, and I want you to, I want you to, you know, it encourages people when some, when something like this is going on, it encourages people to help, because you don't really have to do much other than watch, and you don't have to, to give, I don't ask for donations, I don't, that's not what this is about, this is about helping you by listening to me, if it does help you, outstanding. If it entertains you, more better. <laughs> so, when it comes to that, I did shuffle my cards. And, I, in fact, I'm shuffling my tarot deck as we speak. Um, I did pray over the cards this morning. I read a little bit of scripture. And um, for those that don't think I'm a Christian, yes, I do read my scripture every morning. And I do pray. Um... What we're going to do is use the ICAV Kippa Oracle. <clears throat> ICAV. We are going to do a spread, a 21 card base, 48 card pyramid, cap card, and then we'll read the bottom of the deck, see what they have on the bottom, um, and we'll go from there. I do have uh, a couple of questions. I do have a comment and a couple of questions. Yes. And, um, so that's about it. I'm going to tell you this. I could not do what I do, what I sent to Wesley to Kenya to help people in Kenya. And perhaps we'll help other region, regions of the world also. Depends on how much this grows. I made a promise to you and I intend on keeping that promise. Whatever we get, we will give. Give it all. <clears throat> I couldn't do it without you. I couldn't. Nah, 
God put this where we are today. God did this, not me. No, it just put it in my heart to do this. And all of this is because of you. You the ones. Started off with Mystic Beauty, to be honest with you. She's the angel that that put me out there. She's the one that and that's why I I, I give kudos to her because she put me on her channel, plugged me, and from there it took off. I give credit to a viewer that said, Captain Reed, why don't you uh, monetize your channel and take whatever you get. It don't cost nobody anything. You won't accept donations, so do it this way. And I did. Again, another angel. Whoever said that was an earth angel that inspired me to do what I did. You know, and I just want to tell y'all thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for the subscribers. The channel's still growing slowly, which is good. I, I It's not about the growth. It's about what we do with what we grow. It's about what we do with the harvest that we get. That's what's important. And I want everyone to understand that. It's, it's not, and this is not about me. Do not ever think this is about me. This is about what we do as, as a channel and as a community within the channel, our tribe and, and those that I love here, uh, my subscribers, thank you for the shares. Shares are important because it spreads the word. The shares, the likes, the comments. I love each and every comment. I read every comment. Sometimes, I'm going to be honest with you, it's just overwhelming because I have to, it takes hours to, to go through each one and to respond to each comment. But I do. I do. I do. It frustrates my bride, too. She's like, you going to talk to me? Yeah. And when I'm done here, I'll talk to you. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into our reading and see what we have for t this morning the veil the veil comes up first it is the first card to come up that's self-explanatory the de de divination um <clears throat> of course we all know what divination is the veil is lifted the veil was lifted i want to add something to to all of the Haters, stalkers, creepers, what else? Uh, whatever else we can think of. <laughs> them turd parties, and fruitcakes, all of them. Whoever watches me, please keep watching me. I, I do want you to, I, I joke and I, you know, I, I jab at you, but it is, it's all in fun. Uh, I, I, uh, I love you too, so please. Keep watching me, and the more you watch, the more it increases the revenue. So the haters are going to be blessed by default. <laughs> so the veil, divination. I think that the veil was lifted because a reader, a reader or a divine, uh, someone with gifts, let's put it that way, someone with gifts, lifted the veil for someone else someone else possibly soul tribe spiritual warrior a little earth angel you maybe that veil was lifted and you could see clearly what that person was talking about after they said it and it surprised you hmm. it was an unexpected it's like not that person there ain't no way there ain't no way achievement there is no damn way that 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 country boy that that cajun from south louisiana that nerd can be gifted there's no way yeah and he was huh, be damn <laughs> he was commitment yes uh 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 yes hmm. Awaken. Huh. Pathway. 
let's look at what we have here with these seven cards. We have uh, the veil was lifted because of divination. Someone, you or they, were surprised. I think it was them that were surprised of the achievement that you had or whoever this is talking about because we have different energies here. Yes, this person was surprised at the the achievement and the level of commitment that you may have towards this awakening that took place that you're on this path. Whatever path you're on now, it surprised the shit out of everybody. It, it's like, psh, what? It's like, <laughs> ain't no way. Hold on just a second. Let me pause this just for a minute. Oh, okay, I'm back. Gotta make sure my little clock thing is rolling up. I'll be talking for a half hour and the doggone thing is still on pause. I'll be like, damn. Don't waste all that oxygen. <laughs> uh, yes, anyway. You have an extreme degree of commitment to whatever you're doing. And it, it that's what that's what the veil was. The veil was is the gifts that you had, whatever you're using, and the achievement that's taking place within your life. Yes. And path. See that, that star? That's you. That's your light. That's you. That's your awakening. That path could be for everybody else to come to you. That could be what that is. Expectation. Expectation. Hmm. Now, let me also emphasize the first row, the first seven cards, is what you've been thinking about that's on your brain near pass just i'm gonna just say near pass okay and, and it could roll into today but this has been on your mind all of this has been on your mind the veil divination surprise you surprised a lot of people and you think about that too you think about how some people were like damn yeah. look at this nerd <laughs> yeah Huh. Expectation. Oh, yeah. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. Ice king. Hmm. What is this about here? Now, this is present day. That's it right now. It, 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 this could be something that you are like thinking of. You're contemplating right now. But this could be action oriented today. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got here. So far, we got expectation, divine masculine, and an ice king. And this is like just a masculine energy. Even the ice king is a masculine energy. It's nothing... It, it can be a feminine, it could be female or, or a male. You know, I, I, I know there's a reason why I can put like a mature woman, a mature man. I know that there's a reason he did that. I just don't know why. Because when I read, I often... Uh, I don't separate the two. I guess unless it gives me a, a calling, a reason to separate the two, then I do. Maybe that's why he did that. Yeah. I like I kept to put to kept and oof. Oh yeah. Change in reverse. I do read these cards in reverse. I just want to throw that. Some people don't. Trust in reverse. That's not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Relationship in reverse. Huh. Thoughts. Let's see what we got here. Expectation.
expectation in the upright divine masculine uh, uh, it's just a masculine energy a masculine ice king masculine ice king change in reverse trust in reverse you expected someone to or you don't expect them to change you don't trust them to change they Whoever this is, you it's on your brain and you're you thinking of this right now that someone that you were in a relationship with, see? relationship, in reverse, that means was, in Cajun terms, in reverse, yeah, like when you get in your car and you put that in reverse, just think it was, yeah, I'm fixing to go into the was in the reverse, <laughs> yeah, this you don't trust this person at all. You don't trust that they're going to change. You don't, you, and you, there's a time factor in this. See this person looking at that watch. There's a time factor in this. Took away someone, if, if they was going to change, they would have done it already. That's what you're thinking to yourself. If they was going to change, they would have done it already. Especially when you may have told them the error in their ways and when you could have told them the mistakes that they were walking straight into. <laughs> You're like, boo, you know, you need a walking stick or something because your ass is blind. You like, what the WTF? <laughs> mama, my mama go watch this. I can't, I, I, I know my mama watch. She don't say it. You know, because they may not approve of what I do. You know, that's, that's okay. That's okay. I've been doing, I've been, I've been pretty much independent since I'm 16, probably 14. I was like, but anyway, she was, she was tough on me. But, oh, and the last card on this right here is thoughts. You think about this person. That's what I'm telling you. This is on your brain. As we speak, you have been thinking about this. You're thinking about if this person, let's say, and I'm going to just give you a scenario. Let's say this person came up to you, and or you met them over there at the Walmart. There you were, squeezing melons. Mm-hmm. Boy, I swear. And this person came up to you and said, damn, Cap Marie, you're still squeezing melons, I see. <laughs> damn right. Skip it, girl. Yes, I, I'm a melon lover. Mm-hmm. Put yourself in Captain Reed's shoes. You have a high degree or high expectation. That person, whoever it is, they're going to be a divine masculine. They take on the role as masculine. Not that they're male in Captain Reed's, but it could be a male too. Could be a, one of my partners, one of my friends. Damn, bro, you still over there playing with the melons? <laughs> anyway, you, you, you don't think this person's gonna change. Or has changed at all. They may present themselves as they change, but deep down inside, they, this snake has done this before, and you know it. So you're not playing this game no more. You don't trust this person at all. There's a zero factor there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. And this person is someone you had a friendship with, a relationship, a you could have been married. When it says relationship, that covers all of them. You know, friendship, marriage, you know, uh, friends with benefits. Whatever the case is, you 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 put that piece of that puzzle where it's supposed to fit at. I can't do that for y'all. I, I guess I could, but I don't want to. You know, like your little oof. manifestation. Expectation fell underneath the veil because you see that's a, there's there was a the expectation between the expectation and the divine masculine there was a veil there and that you begin to understand things about this person presently that you didn't understand before now you have this idea that this person ain't gonna change and you don't trust them at all because they've done too much way too much damage to your trust. <clears throat> So that trust variable will never be the same again. 
because people don't have to do what they do. They do that because they want to. That's where the trust comes in. If it's an accident, that's a different story. But when you do it with intent, mm, big big difference there. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a hard no. Absolutely not. Manifestation. Someone's praying. Someone is manifesting. Mm -hmm. Someone has went into their alchemist mode. They are like, they are like, ooh, and it's a sweetheart. It's a sweetheart that is praying. They have went to their knees before God, and they are praying. Someone you know. This is someone you know. This is not a stranger. And I don't think this is the same person that's in the... Because this is like... It, it can fall into today running into the near future, okay? And I know that may be kind of hard to understand what I'm saying, but this could be someone you know today, but the manifestation and the sweetheart part can be uh, like run into the future, tomorrow, next week, Thanksgiving, whatever the case, because there's gatherings on Thanksgiving, okay? So this may be within that, that uh, range of time. Could be past that too. So, hmm. This is someone you know. Hello. Hey, boo. Concern. We're going to flip some more cards because I'm, I'm not too clear on if this is you that's concerned or them that's concerned. Okay, so let's... Uh, actual money in reverse. Bondage, upright. Last card on this, ooh, poverty. This is someone else. This is not you. This is not you. This is someone else. This is someone you know that you have said hello. This may not be someone that you know intimately, but you know them because the hello card is here. This is someone that you have met before. This is someone that you know, I'm going to tell you this, this person, the hello person, it could be a, a, uh, it could be a male or female, if this is not gender specific, but they are praying, they, they, they're praying and they want to, they want to become more than a hello, they want to become a, a sweetheart. This person wants to be a sweetheart. This person is concerned big time. And again, there's a time factor here. See the clock? There's a time factor there. Because money is in reverse. Their ass is in a bind. They're, they are hurt. They need help. Okay, This person, that's what they're praying for. They're not praying that you become intimate with them. They be they praying that you are uh, willing to help them because they are in bondage right now. They can't go forward. They can't go back. <clears throat> and like I said, this could have happened. This is not this this part of it can be like going into the future because you can still help them into the future because they, this person is in bondage. And it, I mean, it just comes out and says, please help. This person needs help. This, this is like without a doubt. This person is struggling big time. Or was, if you began to help this person, which you will, you will, how, whatever, how, whatever way it is, there is going to be some type of help here. It, I'm not saying it's going to be with money. I'm not saying it's going to be with 
It could be with time. It could be with listening. It could be with many different things. You know, this person is looking for some healing. They're looking for a friend. They're, they're looking for a friend. They're looking for financial healing, emotional healing, and a chance for you to spiritual heal them. Possibly you know how this feels. I know I do. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. <clears throat> When I was in the military, we was poor. We didn't we didn't have a whole lot. No, me and my bride, we struggled. Big time. I'm telling you. We, we, and we had a baby. Yes, we had. So I know how this feels when you only left with $15 in your account. And, you know, you got to make it till the next. It was a struggle. Take it. From, take my word for it. Uh, mature woman. See, that's what I'm talking about. This right here, okay, if this is specific to this card, like this is going, uh, is this a mature woman, or um, do I read this as a uh, gender non-specific mature person? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to take it as a gender non-specific. This is just a mature person. Occupation. I want to read it. I want a nice guy. This is a nice, this is you. This is a nice person. Very, very nice person. High honor. You have an extreme amount of honor. Uh, work, labor, efforts, harvest. Unbothered. Let's see what this is here. We have a mature person. It could be a woman or a man, non-gender specific, that works a lot. Works a lot. <laughs> works way too much, in fact. Uh, just a very nice guy. Very nice person. This person is like unbelievable. Unbelievable, nice. Um, a person of high honor. There's a picture of someone in the military. Could have been in the military. Could be a police officer. Could be a first responder. Wears a uniform. Had, could have worn a uniform. Possibly uh, not anymore. This is just to signify their character, their personality. They are, they are extremely high honor individual. Extremely well like mature. The reason I say that possibly they don't anymore is because it's mature. This is and when I when in my mind when I think of mature, I especially age factor wise, not because there's two different things here. You can be mature uh, emotionally and you could be a mature person and act like a damn kid. Simple as that. Not mature emotionally. Uh, Behavior-wise, you could be a mature person and still, you know, uh, overindulge. Never grew up. Let's put it that way. Never grew up. Got behavioral problems, issues. When I think of a mature person, age factor-wise, <laughs> hey, my mind goes to AARP. Plug for AARP. Y'all better send some advertisement money to my channel so that I can give that to some some people in need over there in Africa. Anyway, AARP. You got to be fifty, to, I think, to join A. I I think you have to be fifty to join AARP. So I, I plugged them at you know that that age that range fifty years old. That's that's what I'm saying, you know, mature. Some people would say mature is like from 30 to 50. After 50, you're not mature no more. You're seasoned. You like, who you salty. Got some Cajun seasoning on you. But this person is, is of high honor. Because you work a lot, your abundance is, is high. You have a high abundance of your harvest is very plentiful. You have an extreme amount 
and it has unbothered. I'm not sure what that's about. Why it's on this road? What are you? You are. It, it possibly just could be your personality. You don't get bothered. You're solid. You're stable, and nothing bothers you. You just you move on with your life. I think that's what that is, because there's nothing on here that indicates. There would be a reason there's no character in here, no energy in here that is irritating, that would bother you. You know, like a cockroach or something like that. You know, they don't have that there. So, you know, that would be a, a personality trait, a character trait for you because you're high honors. Nothing bothers you. You know, hell, possibly mental battles. You don't, it's like, I'm good. False narrative. That's an easy one that I can read that one card by itself. Somebody lying on you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't ever. If that's somebody that you know, and I think it is. I think you know this, whatever this is. And I'm just reading this. One card. If this is somebody. And they lying on you. Don't ever say that little witch you spell liar, liar, pants on fire. Mm -hmm. Because their ass will explode their own fire. That's how much they lie. You can't even trust them. Who? That's this person down there. Trust factor. Zero. Yeah. That ass will ignite right in the front of you. Mm -hmm. You have to use a fire sandwich should have put them up. They're like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So more did be. Poof. You're like, shit. Abundance. I said the word abundance. But it's in reverse. It had so. Let's see what this is. Before I start, I want to. Uh, because it falls under neat occupation, but I don't think it, it, it has any. It's not applicable to that. To that. Okay? Because this person right here is a mature person. Works a lot. They're super nice, high honor. So this, this I don't know where this jealous and envious. Mm. This falls in a neat, nice guy, nice person, family boy. Ain't that something? Hey, here we go. We're gonna find out who the lie, lie pants on fire. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I tell you. oh, and friends too, friends. Yeah. Got friends in here. Yeah, what are friends for? <laughs> Obsessed. What the hell? So let's look at this. They got somebody that's lying about your abundance, okay? Because obviously on the, the row above it, you work hard, you're a nice guy, you're high honor, your character is outstanding. Yo. Your harvest is plentiful and you're unbothered. You don't give a fat baby's booty what people have to say, but they still lie on you. They lie on you about your harvest, your abundance. They say that you, you're, not, you're not all that and then some, but actually you are. You just don't say nothing. You just let it be. Yes. <clears throat> so they lie on you. They, they lie about everything, everything. They try to hurt you. In the world where they want to hurt you. You don't do nothing to nobody because you're a person of high honor. Unless you're like on a battlefield and that's the enemy, then you gotta kill them all. Wow. Hmm. They lie on your abundance and they're jealous. This card right here. Jealous and envious. That's a demon that you don't want. That's a demon that you have to try to cleanse yourself from. Do not allow jealousy and envious envy to come into your life, into your brain, into your, your body, because it is something that is, there's no need for it. Be happy for people. If they are successful and if they are doing well, be happy for them. Don't be jealous of them or envious. You want them to do good. They don't know how what you are. They don't. They don't know. Most people they don't have a clue what I got or or 
of my abundance because I live modest. I live in a in a double wide trailer house. Me and my bride choose to. Yes. Hey, I mean it's it's paid been paid for a long time. It's paid for. It's you know, and if you take whatever your monthly rent or your house note would be and put that in the bank every month. Think about how many how many pentacles you would have by now. Point taken. But family and friends are jealous. And some are lying. There's some of them in here that are lying because it's on this road. They are saying false things about you. They are obsessed. The last card. The last card is obsessed. My goodness, for what in the world you think? False. Again, false documents. What is that about? And that lands on top of uh, false narrative and abundance. That row, this, this is going to tie these two rows together. It's going to weave the cards together. Mature woman and occupation. False documents. Hmm. There's something to contemplate right here. Courthouse in reverse. Oh boy. There's somebody or there's someone or some within family and friends. I'm going to tell you that. Within family and friends that have spread some gossip, false narratives, some lies that is something about a legal case, but it's not true because that courthouse is in reverse. Whatever that's being said is a lie. It, ha it has never, that has never happened. And it will, it won't happen because it's in reverse. And it's something about a house. There's something about possibly when it comes to family and friends, this could be family, it would be maybe possibly something about inheritance. <clears throat> hmm. And something about a house and a courthouse, meaning that, and as the false narrative here is you took a, you took legal action or you sought legal action against someone about a house. Hmm. Or property. It can include them. When it has house in reverse, it could be anything. It could be money, property, house. It, it could be a lawsuit. It could be it could be a number of things, a legal action. And it's not true. It's it's false. It didn't happen. Fake. Faith, when it when faith comes in there and the number 46 is on the card. I noticed that right away. I noticed all of the numbers, in fact, but 46 is on the card. Uh, um, that's 10. And that is like seeking guidance, spiritual guidance. And, it, and it's faith. Faith is... is uh, Four and six is ten. Ten in spirituality is is uh, seeking spiritual guidance. It's uh, visions, dreams, and uh, if you reduce it to one, one is abundance. One is the is the magician in in um, Tara. One is the magician card. Magician has all of the tools necessary to do whatever they saying that you didn't do. You could, but you not. It's all a lie. But you faith, you're praying. Praying is down here too. Manifestation. Pray. You 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 praying. What are you praying for? Ooh, because whatever happened puts you in emotional pain. That hurts you. Whatever happened hurts you big time. Big time. This could be someone. A, a past relationship too. Let me tell you why this could be a past relationship. The false card, false documentation is is this could be spread by this person. This could be a a the number on the card is 101. 101. 101 
reduced down to two. Two is lovers or in love in, in spirituality. Two is in um, It's also trust. Uh, two can be a, a symbolizes trust. So you don't trust this person. Whoever this is anymore, you don't because it has false. And, and it falls on top of false narrative. Mm -mm -mm. Man. On the bottom of this. Below false is false narrative. On false narrative is 89. 89. 8 and 9. 17. 1 and 7. 8. 8 in material is in spirituality materialism. This is a totally, total, it's all about the money. This person is nothing about property and tangible items. It's not about feelings, love, caring, spirituality. It has nothing to do with that. It's what they can get, and if they can't get it by whatever means available, <laughs> your ass is in trouble. So, I'm just telling you. Yeah, wow. Oh, ancestors. I like ancestors in the upright. Mm -hmm. Definitely, they're in the upright. Oh, ancestors and protection. They are protecting you. Yes, they are. They are protecting you. Ancestors, eight and four, 12. 84 is the number 12. One and two, three. Three is the Trinity. It's a high, very high value spiritual number. Very high value spiritual number. It's your ancestors. Three deals with communication also. It, it deals with this, your ancestors communicate with you. They protect you. Ascending. Ascending. Mm -hmm. And healer. All of this row follows emotional pain. Healer lands on top of emotional pain. That tells me that you are healing. You you are sending. You are coming out of whatever, whatever has happened, whatever has hurt you, whatever has hurt you emotionally, hurt you emotionally. You are getting over that. Ascending. You are ascending uh, from that. You're coming out of it. You rose above all that shit and you said you know what and you didn't even retaliate you you didn't even strike back you rose above it you took the high road and you said you know what i'm gonna leave these low vi low vibration cats where they at and i'm gone blocked i'm telling you i was only right there you blocked them just like i just said you you took the high road and you said, you know what? I'm done. I don't want no part of this no more. I'm going to put an end. I'm going to put a stop to this. I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm going to block your ass. I don't want you. Not because I don't want you to see me. I don't want to see you. I don't want to have nothing to do with your ass. Talk about sanitation. I am sanitizing myself of all of this emotional stress and, and all of this. They put you in a you know, stressed and pressed situation. You don't want no part of that no more. And this, I think this has happened. It's been a while. This is not something recent. I think this is something that took place a while back. And when I say a while, it's subjective to you. It's relative to your timeline, not mine. Mine could be different from yours. Opposition. You blocked all of the opposition. Every, every opposition, everything that came up against you, block, block. Yeah, y'all want to play? Let's play. Say hello to my left friend. That's my finger. Block button. Block. Mm -hmm. Kiss my ass. I'm done with all of this. We ain't playing no games no more. Y'all want to play? Checkmate. Yes, I'll play. Checkmate. I guarantee you, you're going to notice my absence. 
I promise you that. Because the person that they pull all the shit with is the person most likely that was always there for them. Because this has family. You were always there for them. You would have given your life for family. For friends also for that matter. You're just that type of person because you are a high honored person. And I guarantee you they're going to miss you. Mm -hmm. I just said endings. You put a stop to that. Endings. You put a stop to it. Yes. Chakras. You got your chakras all in line, boo. From your from your toes to your nose. You you are in a alignment. You got out of alignment for a while. I'm a, I'm, truth be told, your alignment was off. You had to go over there to the tire shop and they had to get your car back in alignment, your vehicle back in alignment. So you went to the spiritual guru, baby, went to Captain Reed's spiritual guidance and he helped put you back in alignment and said, you know what? You need to sanitize. Oop, get rid of all of that. Stop playing that game. You know, because they make the rules to the game. Your pain is that pleasure. Flip it. Mm -hmm. You turn it around and you make it. Your pleasure is that pain from this point on. They can watch you because they can make secret accounts. Who gives a shit one way or the other? Who cares? You don't want to see them. They can see you all they want. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Be like, damn, girlfriend, what's up? <laughs> yes. Wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> you got your chakras off. <laughs> God damn it. You're like, what's up, chakra? <laughs> transition, you transition. That don't mean you're dead or you died. What you were is dead. You will never be that same person again. Not to those people. Mm -mm. Nah. Now they can come with their sad story. And they can come with their, you know, because this ain't the same person down here. The person that's manifesting and they need some help. This ain't the same person. This is, this is someone different. This is a different energy. The person up here that hurts you that did all of those things, you'll never be the same to them again. Mm -mm. Like, I need some help. Mm. We'll be like, what we talking about? Food, a life jacket, or what? Because that's about all you're going to get from me. I ain't jumping in the water for your ass. Last time you drowned me, shit. You tried to drown me. <laughs> They're like, no, no, I ain't doing that shit ever again. No. Hell, transition. Like, Come out of that boss because you a boss. You done bossed up. Yeah. Hot damn it. Look at it. Shout. Clean shaven. Yeah. Glasses. Well, he got. I, I ain't clean shaven. I still have my, my goatee. Mm, I ain't getting rid of my goatee. No. Mm -mm. But this cat right here is like. I do have a nice. A few couple of. A few nice suits. Oh, put me one on one time. Do a reading in a damn. What in my three piece? Be like, damn, Calvary. I almost put my one yesterday. Go over there to the bank. See my girlfriend at the bank. Say, what's up, girl? What's so? Just give me the bottom line. Tell me how much money I made. <laughs> yeah, we can cut this short, okay? Yeah, well, we need to do some uh, reallocation of funds. I got time is money, okay? I got to go, boss. You bossed up. You like. Damn, you, uh, let's, that was the cap card, the boss. Earth angel, you're an earth angel. Yes, you are, and you're blessed. you like happy. You are very happy because of your gifts. You have some serious gifts. One of them is a healer because that was up here. The, the healer card was up here. Ascended, you are a healer. And healer can apply in different ways. You can be a mental healer. You can be a spiritual healer. I believe they're all spiritual healing gifts. They all are. You can heal people financially, emotionally, uh, physically. Some people are what we call traitors. They, they, they take ailments from people. They can, some, some of us they take the ailment from them, meaning that we, take that on so we have to be very careful with that because rising star <clears throat> i can't that is a, a gift very very intuition is like on point they cannot bullshit you you know 
you know, ancestors, ancestors snatch your ass up, they astral project you, and I know somebody's going to give me a comment, it's not astro, I didn't say astro, I said astro, okay, it sounds like old, but it's like, hey, okay, so, whew, it gets a little difficult dealing with the comments, it's, it's a language barrier, I say it right, you understand it wrong, you hear it wrong, <laughs> <laughs> intuitive cat you got a high degree of intuition high degree when i'm telling you it's like a lot you got a lot and you divinity you are a divine individual you have to be your earth angel you have to be that was the last card and um let me pick these up I think I'm going to just go straight into answering a couple of questions. Um, let me see. Uh -oh. Let's see what we got here. Now, let me see what we got. Christian soldier. Uh, um, this is a comment that I pull. I know a lot of times y'all fuss at me, y'all tell me, don't entertain those cats, but I want to. I have to. I have to entertain some of these cats because it's important to me and Sometimes people put things on in comments because they want the exposure, okay? So I'm going to expose them, and that gives them a reason to watch me even more. So it's a head game between me and them. I do this, and they watch me more. Increases revenue for the, for the charity. It's a win-win for me. I win. <laughs> I know it's a messed up hair game, but see, I'm ahead of these cats. Like, when we play in a game, I moves ahead of them. So, let's just see what Christian Soldier got to say. You talk a good game. Yes, I do. I'm good at what I do, I guess. Hell, but you don't fool faithful Christians. Not trying to. You using those cards as a sin. Those cards are a sin. You using those cards, and they're a sin. And your works as in giving will not save you. Hurt me, hot damn it. <laughs> you speak of the Holy Spirit by name is blasphemous. Well, not me now. And the Holy Spirit is the one who talks to me. Yeah, well. Don't ever assume Satan isn't impersonating the Holy Spirit. We worship Jesus Christ, and he doesn't take kindly to you doing what you're doing. Huh, well, I'll be now. Uh, hmm. Well, you know what? Let's go back to the, up, up here at the beginning. I want to I wanna address this. Use those cards, and they are a sin. Your works as giving will not save you. You're right about that, Christian. You're right. Your works ain't going to save you. Won't save anyone. But in Matthew, in Matthew, in the seventh chapter of Matthew, um, what it is, Matthew. So, uh, the 15th, I think it's the 15th verse. My hard drive is running right now. I think it's the 15th verse. It says, by their fruits, you're going to know them. That's Jesus talking. He says, talking to his disciples. And he's talking about false preachers, Christian. He's talking about false preachers, false teachers. Those that impersonate Christ. They impersonate being a Christian, but they're not really Christian. You know why? Because you know them by their fruits, by what they do. They talk a good game, but they don't do shit. They don't help no one. They don't do nothing. 
They just talk a good game. They quote scripture. They make comments. They criticize those that are trying to do good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't ever assume Satan is an impersonating the Holy Spirit. He's not. Not in this situation. Mm -hmm. No, he's not. The Holy Spirit talks to me. I pray. I pray this morning. I pray to God in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit is dispatched to give me messages. And I give them. Now, what you believe, I don't care one way or shit. I don't give a damn one way or another what you believe. I really don't. But you, what I just told you is the truth about works. Because what I do, I, I do not get anything out of. I don't accept anything from. My blessing in all of this is the communication I have with the Holy Spirit. My blessing in all of this is what God gives me so I can give to others to help them. Satan don't want that. What is wrong with you, Christian? If you lost your freaking mind, do you honestly believe that Satan would like use me, impersonate the Holy Spirit to give eventually, which will turn out to be thousands of dollars to Africans? I'm just asking. You really believe that? To build churches now, to, to grow the church, grow spirituality. Do you honestly believe that? Satan would want that, or would he not influence me to keep the damn money? Mm. Yeah, don't be transparent, Captain Ray. Mm -mm. No, keep that money. You need that, which I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I don't. I don't. And, and even if I did, I'd still give it. I made a promise. I'm a promise keeper. Do you think Satan would want, would like be? You don't need to keep no promises. What's wrong with you? Those are just words because that's what a lot of people think today. It's just words. You don't need to keep no commitment, Christian. You are insane, my friend. If you believe that you are spiritually, no, not spiritually, you are religiously insane. You believe shit that is ridiculous, but that's fine. You believe what you want, but watch me because you're going to see some more of this. You're going to see a lot more of this because we're still growing. In fact, the channel is growing. And since my first donation started, it's grown a lot. And it's going to continue to grow now, especially because people want to get involved in doing good. People want to, want to they, they are being blessed by commission. Okay. They, they are going to be blessed just because. When you affiliate yourself with someone or something that is good, you are blessed by consequence. You are blessed because you just there. Yes. Those that Jesus fed with the with the five loaves and the fishes, the bread and the fish, some of them were blessed just because they was there. They didn't do nothing, they just went. They were what we call biscuit Christians. They was there for a meal. They wasn't they didn't care about Christ. They just wanted to eat. They were hungry. Some people are going to watch. Some people are going to participate just by watching, and they're going to be blessed just because. So, I hope I answered your question, Christian. Uh, all right, you didn't even really have a question, I don't think. Um, it was more of a good comment. I liked it. I loved it. Keep them coming, Christian. Let's see what else we have. Sam. 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 Um, uh, <clears throat> hold on a minute. Uh, hmm. uh, Captain Reed, what is your favorite gospel song? Oh, what is my favorite gospel song out of all the gospel songs? I love gospel music. I listen to it. Um, my favorite, I guess, would be He Leadeth Me. He Leadeth Me is probably my favorite of all gospel songs. Yes. Um, I don't know if you ever heard it, but the Martins sing it. That's a very good song, and it's sung in churches all around the world, I'm sure. He leadeth me, oh blessed thought, 
<coughs> oh, words with heavenly comfort flow. Whate'er I do, where'er I be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. And he does. Every day. He led me to this. He's leading us to help. And we will. That's for sure. That is my favorite gospel song. Um, and this is a two-part. What is your favorite verse in scripture? Probably John, um, it's on my, it's, in fact, it's, it's my, um, in my profile on Facebook. It's a, it's a, a verse that uh, John 15 uh, starts at 12. It, it says, uh, uh, my commandment, that's my commandment I give to you to love others as I have loved you. This is Christ talking to his disciples. Love others as I have loved you. And then he explains to him that there's no greater love. No, that's 13, verse 13. There's no greater love than this, and he gives the example, than to lay down one's life for their friends. Yes. And it doesn't mean that you have to expire. It doesn't mean that you have to assume room temperature. It just means that you change your life for your friends. You don't, you don't go karmic and toxic. You sacrifice for your friends. That can, be, that can be a translation. That can be an interpretation of, of this verse. It doesn't mean that you have to die for your friends, which it could. They can, and I promise you there is no greater love than for a soldier to give his life or a first responder to give their life for others. There's no greater sacrifice than that. But there's also other sacrifices that someone can do for their friends that can show that there's no greater love than that. That's like to, to give to their friends when they don't have, borrow for their friends to help them, buy groceries for their friends when they're struggling themselves. There's no greater love than that. That's what people don't, they, they often forget. And they take for granted, they are not grateful. Some people just, they have zero gratitude because they will turn on their friends just like Judas did. The next one, life healing. Captain, you talk about emotional sanity, sanitizing yourself of someone. In fact, I talked about it in this reading. How can you remember if you sanitize yourself of them? Oh, I see what they're saying is they want to, some people want to remember. You're, gonna, you're never gonna forget. Okay, you can't sanitize your brain. That, that's impossible. That you would need a brain transplant for that. What, what I'm talking about here is uh, you have to uh, sanitize triggering mechanisms, sanitize things that will trigger you. Uh, and what I mean by that, let's say uh, pictures. You know what? I'm... I'm videoing on a computer, my laptop. And um, my laptop, it has a maximum amount of memory, a maximum amount of, of storage. It can't take, it, it, it doesn't have an infinite amount. You the same way. You the same way. And I want you to understand where I'm going with this is if, and I'm not a, a, a therapist, I'm not a psychologist, I don't claim to be. I'm just a damn old country boy with a lot of common sense. So take take this for, for, value, for the value that I'm offering you. If you don't remove things in your life, you, you're not going to be able to make room for other things. Okay, Your, your, your computer's going to be so full of shit and junk and stuff because you're trying to remember things that you don't need to. They're not in your life anymore, so why would you want to remember them? They hurt you. They disappointed you, disgusted you. They, there's a lot of things that they did. They lied on you, false narratives. They did a lot of things, stepped out, ghosted. Whatever the case is, they hurt you. They hurt you. They put swords in your heart. Why would you want to keep things that is going to trigger you? Dump them. Put them in the trash. And don't, don't ever take them out. Clear your recycle bin. 
You never need to look at them again. You don't need to go look at their social media. You don't need to do none of that, okay? And you can listen to me. If you allow someone else, and I'm thinking of a person right now that makes comments to me all the time, and this is a masculine individual, and I, I love him to death. He's, he's an extremely fine individual. If you do not, how can you meet someone and uh, develop a relationship and, and build a future with someone that you ain't got no room for them because you holding on to shit you should have got rid of a long time ago? Throw it in the trash. Get rid of it. That's what I mean by sanitizing yourself. If you don't, it's going to affect your future person. It's going to affect someone that's coming into your life. Now, I often talk about twins. Twins is a totally different ball game. You can sanitize yourself of them. Even just a normal relationship, you're going to hold on to memories. You can't sanitize your brain. But when it comes to twins, it's a totally different ball game. We, we are talking about professional ball here. We're not talking about no minor shit, no, no elementary. We're talking about we're playing hardball. Twins will never go away. Twins will be on you. They are etched in your DNA. This is not something that is in your brain. This is part of your genetic makeup. They are. They own your soul. You own their soul. Okay. So you tied in that way. But it doesn't mean that you are required to affiliate, associate, or even accept the bullshit from a twin. Never. Uh-uh. Do not believe that at all. And don't put yourself in that position. Don't ever put yourself in that position. You can go along with it for a while, hoping they change, because we had that in this prayer. We hope they change. We pray that they change. You want them to change. But if they cyclic or they show signs of being cyclic and they're going back into a situation that they you helped them out of, Get rid of that shit and move on with your life. Go find your divine soulmate that is going to protect you and help you. Okay? This is not advice. This is my opinion. Captain Reed's opinion. So, don't send no busload of lawyers after me. Because I'm going to show them this and I'm going to say, Yo, see, I told them it was just an opinion. and It's, it's their fault, not my fault. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We, we often hold on to things way too long. You, you're not hurting them, you're hurting you. You're not, why? Why you hurt yourself? You're not forgiving them, it's not hurting them. They don't give a fat baby's ass about you. They showed you when they said they loved you, how much they loved you. They showed you when they said, oh, I care so much about you. They showed you. They didn't keep one promise that was made to you. They didn't give a damn one way or the other what happened to you. Dump it. Get rid of it. Sanitize yourself and move on with your life. Go find you some new boo. A soulmate. Divine boo. Be like, damn, girl. Look like you got angel wings on your back. Come here. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all. God loves you. Stay close to God. Talk to him a lot. As much as you can. He, sometimes he feels left out. He feels abandoned. It's not the other way around. He feels abandoned. And you only call him when you need him, like a damn friend sometimes. Be like, well, I'm only going to call him because I need some help. No, talk to him every day, every day. I'm telling you, it's going to turn your life around. Become spiritual, not religious. Spiritual. Go ask the preacher, are you religious or spiritual? Mm-hmm. Did the preacher say he religious? I ain't going to tell you to leave the church. I'm going to tell you this. Be careful with it. Be careful with it. Because it's done out of habit. It's religious. People walk around with prayer beads and prayer beads and, and things like that. Or, uh, uh, whatever the case is. I'm not going to say rosary because I don't want to pick on Catholics. But it's a show. It's religious. It's not spiritual. Um... Hmm. Stay close to God. He loves you, big time. I love you. And um, I I don't know if I ought to just wait a few minutes to... I guess I will. I guess I will. I had a question about that. Captain, do you like uh, 
is this accidentally that the time factor on your videos are 11 11 no not always sometimes sometimes it's accident but most of the time it's planned i watch my clock because i have my clock down here on the bottom of my computer and it's rolling right now it's 110 22 110 25 and when it's go gonna get to 111 I hit the, the button I click the button and it stops the video and hey here we are there we go so I'm gonna pick up my oh, I got a sip of coffee left to all of my friends out there thank you for everything Sub subscribers like shares comments for increasing the channel like you're doing god bless each and every one of you you are the blessing in this in this charity you are the blessing you are what makes this happen peace out